Hello Hangouts and we are outside Costa Coffee. Now, let me tell you something about Costa Coffee. It's my favorite coffee from today's chains. Apart from it being my favorite coffee, Costa Coffee is a truly British brand. It's a British coffee chain. However, they did get recently bought out by the Coca-Cola company. So I don't know how I feel about that. A little bit disappointed because they have become more corporate as a result but their coffee is still brilliant their roastery is actually based really close to home it's in my county which is Essex it's in Basildon Essex they roast over 45,000 tons of coffee per year I just think about that and I think how much of that have I drunk I'm, I'm gonna say a lot of that coffee is me it's going down my stomach however we're not here to talk about how much coffee I consume we're here to talk about how good is Costa Coffee in comparison to the other brands. Let's go and check out Costa Coffee. So, Halal Hangout, so we have come to McDonald's. Now, we're gonna do the, the good old fashioned thing that you would do if you're stopping off for a black Americano and that's go through the drive through because you're in a rush. You need to get that coffee, you need to get on the road. What, what, what kind of, uh, how is it uh, roasted? What kind of beans do you use? Uh, it's from a machine. Oh. Maybe it shouldn't be in the race. We thought it was 100% Arabica uh, coffee beans. Is that correct? We've got the coffee beans. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure it is the 100% thing. It is? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, cool. Yeah, so 99p. There you go, 99p for a black Americano at McDonald's from the McCafe. Off the top of the dome, hello hangouts. We are outside Starbucks Coffee, the original coffee culture kings of the United States of America. Coming out of Seattle, back in the day, they were part of the original coffee culture and a fun fact about Starbucks is their dark roast has been known to distort the nuances of the flavor of coffee so coffee connoisseurs look down on their long coffee noses uh, upon Starbucks because it distorts the flavor now we will see we will see if this is actually true by doing a taste test and checking it out let's go Here we are outside Cafe Nero, um, the next British brand on our list. Founded in 1999 by a guy named Jerry, Jerry Ford. Um, it started from five small chains in central London to what we see today as an international brand boasting one billion sales a year. That is phenomenal. So we've got our first coffee, but before we tell you which one it is, we're gonna be talking about the criteria that we're gonna be judging today on. So we have aroma, how it smells, acidity, that acidic taste, the body of the coffee, the flavor, and the aftertaste. So nice. with these five criteria, we're gonna be judging these. Perfect, so, so should we go first? This is Starbucks right there. Cheers, mate. Uh, the aroma is very deep and roasted it's got a very smoky it's got a very smoky aroma for yeah. sure uh it's got a watery body um and i have to say the flavor is very bitter yeah um which which i think people know starbucks yeah. for and the acidity of it is is very sharp you know you can it kind of hits your tongue mm. very pungent um and the aftertaste is again bitter all right well that's starbucks let's move on to the next one so now we're going to be trying Costa, Costa coffee. Costa coffee. Costa My coffee. favorite coffee. So, no, it's got a bit of like a, a lighter sort of smell to it. It's a richer body, certainly sweeter. I think that's with the Arabica beans. The, the aftertaste is, is a bit nutty, sweeter than the, the, the harsher Starbucks. Thing. Enjoyed it. Right, so now we have good old McDonald's. McDonald's coffee. It's got a very, very strong, <laughs> I was strong gonna say. smell. It can, this is like, you can smell Knock it from you a mile out. away. 
It's, oh. it's very, very bitter, isn't it? Yeah, it's that more is, bitter than Starbucks. That is. Mm. It hits you like I feel like like I took a shot of caffeine. It's got a similar body to Starbucks. It's got sort of a watery consistency. Definitely the flavour is burnt. Is, it is burnt it for is sure. It is burnt for it's sure. That got that dark roast burnt yeah. flavour of Starbucks. It's got a really strong aftertaste yeah. as well. Like I can imagine just drinking this and then just being have coffee breath, <laughs> like for the rest of the day. Yeah. Strong coffee for sure. So, we are on to our final coffee, which is Gaffe Nero. Nero. I can smell a really aromatic, complex sort of waft that hits my senses. It's, it's amazing. It's less bitter than Starbucks and McDonald's. And it's not watery, it's got a very rich body, I find. The flavour, you're getting more of a sweeter flavour. I guess on that note, maybe we should give the viewers our worst and our best with high street you want convenience i'm gonna say today my favorite coffee has to be cafe nero when i've done a pure taste test which i haven't really done before the the that aromatic flavor uh, accentuation of spice that african spice now we must caveat we are amateurs our review today was a very amateur review and this is our preference um, at the end of the day. I'm gonna have to say my worst one. Surprise, surprise, it's gonna be Starbucks. It's just too strong. I'm not a massive fan of that woody, uh, smoky aftertaste. So my favorite has got to be Nero. When I have coffee, I want to experience the coffee flavors. You know, I want a mild experience. And Cafe Nero definitely satisfies those requirements. Um, my worst is probably McDonald's. This is gonna be my new pre-workout drink because it's so strong. Cafe Nero has to be our favorite coffee. On that, I think we deserve for the viewers to do a impartial review of independent coffee shops. So yeah. we've got to put that into the Best coffee pipeline in soon, for Best sure. Best coffee in London. And on that note, you need to hit that bell button. Yes. Hit that sir. subscribe button. Smash that like button. And uh, you know, if is this was this a good review? Let let's, us know below. Let's, what is your favourite coffee? That's let's do you know, a poll underneath yeah. right now. We're polling right now. What's your favourite out of these four and why? And let's see which one wins. Yeah. Hello Hangout. Subscribe, like and share. We'll see you next episode. Peace. Can I get a lussy on the rocks? Sorry? A lussy on the rocks. So it's really hard to hear you. Lassie, Lassie, Lassie on the rocks. You know Lassie.